What's up guys, it's the Guy back with Pip Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we took on these ball clefts, got an awesome mystery, a star piece or two, and now we'll move on. No time like... Awesome. Cool, yeah, I'm not falling for that again. Oh, I could just take these guys out with a power block, it'd be so much easier, but... I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it, I'll deal with it. Trust me. And big money, big money. Awesome! Bingo! Legit. The audience want to see me. Ah, you fail. I'll just finish it down. Whatever. Awesome episode so far. Yeah, it's very difficult. Sorry, I was quiet for a little bit. It's just when I play, I don't really talk that much. Fifty, halfway there. Wow, Bowser doesn't pay you much, does he? Coin, mine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Man, these Goombas. Dull. Alright, we're approaching the next level. This combat system is very original. I kinda like it. You know, turn based. It's not really Final Fantasy, but whatever. It's fine. But, I mean, so I think I might just cut out some battle scenes, or maybe, I don't know. Oh, power block, another one? Alright. Okay. I'm gonna, alright guys, this is where things get rough. See these crazy psychotic things? Meet the most invincible enemy in the game. Alright, I'll let Goombella fill you guys in, and I'll really read it. It's a bristle, totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. Max HP 2, attack 1, defense is 4, and they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, its spikes will pop out. So since you can't jump on it or use a hammer, you better use an item. Now, if you guys didn't know there was a power block in that bush or to save the other power block before, you'd be done. You guys are just... Goodbye. Just rage quit the game right now. But luckily, I have two power blocks. So, you know, they actually, they're really aggravating. You know, I think that's why those little kids play Call of Duty now. Couldn't handle one level of Paper Mario. Please. <sighs> Moving on. This is gonna, I think this is the last forest area, so we should be getting there soon. To the main part, gate. No, you're not hitting me again. Alright. Just a Koopa. Wow. Terrible defense. Drop. And I think I'm gonna have to take a hit from that Koopa. Uh, I don't really care if I hit this one or not. Alright. Goodbye. Oh, plenty of fire flowers here. Hmm, I wonder. Hey, what's this? In coupon. Free pass. Free and an in? I mean, I don't really... I think I'm gonna need this later, but maybe not now. I mean, usually I can get by just healing or using sweet trees fine. I'm taking out. Oh, I'll impale this thing first. Alright. 
Not bad, not bad. Hi guys, I'm in the live com. I mean, you'll probably leave a comment anyway. I mean, I usually... Live comms aren't really that bad, but I kind of like having something to talk about. Because when I play, I don't really talk that much. Alright, stinkiness. Yep. Oh yeah, these things. In Paper Mario for Nintendo 64, when you found this, you just hit it, and then all your stuff would be healed. There would be no reason to go to an inn. Now, they updated it, they make you pay coins, and every place has a different price, so... I mean, it's up to you. Some inns are inexpensive, some are expensive, but... Man, <laughs> I really used to love just hitting these things before a boss battle. Save point, I'm gonna save... Alright. Oh, don't tell me I gotta fight this thing. Whoa. Earthquake. Woo! Mm-hmm. You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. If you've come all this way here to Schwank Forest, you must want the stone keys. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what do you want to do? I'll take you on or no thanks. Yeah, I'll take you on. <laughs> You're in for it now. Boss fight? Uh, no. Ladies and germs, everybody to the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz. I don't want to take a quiz. If I want to take a quiz, I'll go to school. <sighs> Whatever. First question. What's hidden in this place? Pickle stone. Nah, it's just donkeys. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Arr, that's correct. Wow. Too easy? Much harder, huh? Mm-hmm, that's what she said. Alright, bring it. What do one Mr. Softener and one Fireflower cost in Pedalberg? Uh... Oh man, I was just in the shop too. Uh, 12 coins? Yeah, I don't really care. Ah, wrong. Wrong, 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 you fools. Remember, if you get three wrong, you're going to suffer. I don't really care. I don't pay attention to that stuff. What is the name of the mayor in Pedalbird? Coos, Coos. <laughs> Birdo, Moopa, it's crude. Yeah, I'm really sure. Ah, hard correct. Mm-hmm. Keep getting harder. That's what keeps she. Uh, that's what she keeps saying. Where's the crystal star? Uh, the Marshville. Uh, it's in Hooktail's castle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ah, that's correct. Mm-hmm. It keeps getting harder. Diabolical question number five. Okay, how do can how can one get from Rogue Poet? Pedalberg, pedal metal swords, but boat across the sea on the air. Go through a pipe. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Arg, right again. Tell me you didn't just get the fourth right answer. It can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. <sighs> you have no idea. Which of the fallen creatures have hands? They don't have hands. They don't have hands. I don't know what these are, but I'm pretty sure they don't have hands, so Koopa Troopas. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Spinhead. No, that's... Argh, that, that's right! You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win. Yeah, restore the background. Yeah. So very angry. I can't believe I lost. I guess I'll have to let you through. Stupid rules. Yeah, you better have. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, if you get, like, three wrong in a row, you have to fight, like, three spiky clefts, and, you know, if you have extra power block like me, just use that, and get mad points, and he'll get mad at you and let you through. No problem. Hey, a badge! What is it? Multi-bounce! Jump on all foes. Oh yeah, I still have badges, don't I? Uh. I don't think I really need this. This is fine. Let's go to the right first. 
Oh, what's this? Oh boy. Bella, I'm having some trouble. I don't know what they are. Oh, these are fuzzies. So I was right. Hyper little guy. Three. Attack one. Oh, they suck up. They suck. Oh boy. They suck up HP. That's bad. Vampires. Yeah. It's like she said, if you don't guard right then and there, they will take your health. And all you have to do is just time it when they, like, about to come up from you. I guess in real life, they'd be ticks. In the Mario world, they'd be fuzzies. I mean, I guess you could super guard against them, but uh, I'm not really worth- I'm not really risking that. Unless there's a badge for that. I, mean, I guess I probably will. Alright guys, well I guess we gotta stop here. It's getting a little long. So next time in the Pit Mario Let's Play, we will continue through this sewer. Alright, later.